Tideswell is a large village in the heart of the White's Peak and is surrounded by some of the most beautiful limestone uplands in the area. The village dates back to pre-Roman times and was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086 when it was part of the Parish of Hope. It owed its early wealth in the Middle Ages to lead mining and wool production and its prosperity is evident from the size and splendour of its magnificent church. By the 19th century, Tideswell was noted for its textile industry, with a number of factories in the village weaving silk. Today, Tideswell is a thriving community, with a great selection of independent shops, pubs and cafes. Good morning. It's Saturday the 22nd of October 2022 and like most Peak District villages, Tideswell is another beautiful one. I love Tideswell. There's a lot here. It's a large village. It's almost like a small town really, but I love it here. So this is going to be a great place to start and end today's walk. Situated in the centre of the village is the magnificent church of St John the Baptist, rightly known as the Cathedral of the Peak. It was built entirely in the 14th century and contains some impressive wooden carvings, brasses and monuments, as well as a great number of tall, unstained glass windows, making its interior unusually airy and light. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've been inside a church, actually. Although I've visited a few villages with churches on recent walks, for whatever reason, I've not managed to go inside, so... But no, it's lovely to come inside this one. The Cathedral of the Peak. Walking along to the market square, I took a path off to the left, climbing up steeply between houses. At the top, I followed a narrow lane onto Western Bank, from where I immediately turned left up a grassy path. Well, I haven't even left Tideswell, and it's turning out to be an interesting day already. <laughs> Barely started the walk. Well, if you follow my channel, you probably know that I always try and give a shout out now in my films. And I have got a shout out which I'm going to give later on. But I'm going to say hello to a few more people. Um, <laughs> as I was walking around Tideswell, taking shots, um, a couple of women recognised me. Joanne and Karen. They said, hello Patrick. Oh, hello. <laughs> They're from Sheffield. And they had a chap with them called Tim. Tim didn't know anything about my channel, so that's fine. Um, but when Karen and Joanne said, this guy's got a YouTube channel, it's the Solitary Rambler. And Tim said, oh, you're the Solitary Rambler, he said. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Talk about taking the piss. <laughs> no, that was funny though, I like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was nice to meet the three of you. So I had a good old chat with the three of them. Yeah, Joanne, Karen and Tim. And uh, we were just talking, just met them as I was opposite the church, really. We were just talking for a while and Joanne was saying that uh, they usually like to do a walk and then in the evenings they watch one of my videos so they've been watching my videos for quite some time so that's really nice. So yeah, it was lovely to meet all three of you and uh, you've really made my day actually. So uh, thank you for stopping to say hello. And I think they're actually doing the same walk as I am. Well, they're certainly going to the same places, not necessarily the same route. But when I told them the route I was doing, they said, oh yeah, we're going there. But I did actually see them 
just now, so I think they're in front of me now, so I probably won't see them again now. But yeah, lovely to meet all three of you, Joanne, Karen and Tim. All the best. The path came out onto Western Bank again, as I very quickly took a track off to the right at a public footpath sign. I was now getting more open views across this part of the White Peak. Well, it's getting quite breezy now, but apart from that, the weather is absolutely wonderful. Sunny, it's dry, and it's actually quite warm as well. I mean, for this time of year, it's surprisingly mild. I mean, I should be wearing another fleece on top of this, really, but even in this mid layer, I'm still quite warm. I'm not complaining. Well, I love the autumn too. I just love the way the leaves on the trees are changing colour. Just beautiful. And as I said before, you could do the same walk throughout the year several times, and because of the way the seasons change and change the look of the landscape, the walk will always look different every time. So today's walk is just over five miles. It's a route I've plotted myself. And bearing in mind now that we are going into shorter days, because the nights will be getting darker earlier, um, I'd like to do the shorter walks, bearing in mind how long it takes me to film a walk through the day. And I'm sort of starting to go a bit closer to home as well, because I'd really rather not be getting up at the crack of dawn to start filming a walk, because I know it's going to get dark at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> anyway, I've got a few more weeks before we, de we get the really short day, so I'm going to make the most of it for the time being. After about three quarters of a mile, the track came to a T-junction, where I turned left to follow Water Lane. Reaching a road at the end, I bore left to follow it to a very familiar settlement. So here I am back in Weston, where I was on my last walk. So I don't need to explore it at all today, because I did see it on the last walk. But, uh, lovely cafe at the road, of course, Oggy's Cafe. That van converted into a cafe. Yeah, that was nice last time. But, uh, yeah, I'll get on, retrace my steps down the lane from where I did the last walk, and then I'll carry on down the next dale. From Weston, I followed the lane in the direction of Smalldale, as I dropped back down into the dale. I'm now where I left the dale last time on my last walk. That's Haydale, a walk down there, but this time I'm going to be continuing down the next dale, just here. At a limestone way signpost, I climbed over the stone step style to head south through Peter Dale. Peterdale. So, as I was saying on my last walk, when I came down Damdale and Haydale, I would have walked up here um, during my very first holiday in the Peter District when I was 19. So, there's a dale beyond here, so I would have walked up there, th here through Peterdale, and on up through Haydale and Damdale to Peak Forest. So, and uh, again, I very rarely come walking down this dale anyway, even though I've lived in the Peak District for nearly 20 years. It's always nice to come to different places. Just forget how many different places that I've got on my doorstep to explore. And as I've said before, when I want to come out to make a film somewhere, it always gives me a good excuse 
to do these walks that I don't do quite so often, so. I love the way these dales just change so drastically. Like many of the dales in the Peter District, Peter Dale, where I joined it from the lane, it was very wide and grassy, and now it's very narrow and rocky and muddy as well underfoot. But yeah, it's sort of, in a very short distance, it just changes drastically. That's what I love about the Peter District. It just, there's just so much variety of landscape in the area. Uh, like a child in a sweet shop. <laughs> What's I think about it? I just wanted to remind people, um, I'm still getting friend requests on Facebook from people I don't know. So if you're wondering why I delete them, well, it's because I don't know you. Um, I did say in my Derwent Edgewalk that I filmed last year that I do not accept friend requests from people that I don't know. So, it's nothing personal, but if I don't know who you are, your friend request is just going to get deleted. So there was somebody that added me as a friend fairly recently, and I didn't know who he was, um, but then he did actually message me to tell me how he knew me. And that was fine, because he did sort of tell me a little bit about himself. But again, like I said last year, please, you know, if you are going to send me a friend request, please at least sort of allow me to see on your Facebook profile something about you. Um, and message me too. Otherwise, as I've said before, you're just going to get deleted because, you know, you wouldn't accept friend requests from people you don't know, would you? After a short distance, the dale became wider again where my walking along the flat valley floor was easier. However, it wouldn't be too long until I reached one final rock-covered stretch before the foot of the dale. Approaching another lane now then. So this marks the end of Peterdale and the start of the next one. But I won't be doing the next one until the next walk I film. So I'll be following the lane for a bit from now on. Although this is a quiet lane, quiet should be put in inverted commas because I've seen quite a few cars coming up and down it since I've been here. <laughs> so it's quite a busy lane actually. Still a lovely spot though. Yeah. Okay, well although I'm turning off and following the lane that way, I'm still going to be following a little bit more of the limestone way. Turning left along the lane, called Summer Cross, I climbed steeply out of the dale. The climb eventually began to ease, as I reached Monksdale House at a crossroads. I went right along Monksdale Lane, still following a section of the limestone way. This is a lovely old track, beautiful. I have walked along here before, but probably only about two or three times. Yeah. But yeah, really lovely along here. And the wind's picking up a bit now, so. But anyway, I think now 
I'm going to give the shout out that I was going to give today anyway. <laughs> so I'd like to say hello to Bryn Hughes. Now Bryn, he's a YouTuber. He's got a YouTube channel called Hiking and Biking Derbyshire. And I came across it oh, earlier this year, I think it was, because I don't think he's had his YouTube channel for very long. He's not got a lot of videos on at the moment, but the ones he has posted, they're brilliant. They're really good. Uh, and he's actually done a walk very similar to the one that I'm doing now. Um, he did a, a video of a walk from Tideswell to Weston and Peterdale. I don't know whether it's exactly the same route that I'm doing today, but I'm sure it's a very similar route. So that's why I thought I'd give him a shout out on this walk. Uh, and the lovely thing was, I left him a comment on that particular video saying what a great video it was. Because um, I remember watching it because I knew that I'd be doing this walk at some point anyway. And I just happened to come across his video and it was interesting to watch his version of the walk that I would be due to do at some point. But what was lovely about having left the comment on his, on his video was he replied to me and he said that it was actually especially nice to hear from me because he and his wife had actually watched my videos and from watching those had actually given him the push to get out and give it a go himself. So how wonderful is that? Thank you so much, Bryn. I had no idea. But that's a lovely thing to be told, it really is. So, uh, I mean, I know I've obviously had my YouTube channel for quite some years now, but, uh, but yeah, that was really a lovely thing to say, Bryn. Thank you very much for that. But what I will say in return, which I did actually reply anyway to that comment, I did actually say, well, bearing in mind that Bryn is a fairly new YouTuber and the few videos that he's done so far, they are superb. So I think if he's still going in a few years' time, he's going to be unsurpassable for his videos really they're really good really good so do check his channel out as always i'll leave the link to the video uh, to his channel in the description below my video so yeah hiking and biking derbyshire in half a mile the track swung to the left to reach a t-junction Uh, this is where I leave the limestone way for today. Limestone way carries on down there and towards Miller's Dale. But I'm going this way. I'm going left. I'm taking this track, which takes me back towards Tideswell. delightful little lane. I'm back inside as well now. Oh. It's just gone half past three. So yeah, less than six hours filming today, that's not too bad. But uh, yeah, here I am then. Yep, back in the main part of Tidesville now then. So not far from my car. Yeah, that was another lovely walk today. Really nice. So uh, looking forward to the next one.